Hello, VC. Hello, everybody. How you doing? Um, it's Bill here, Diverata. First of all, I do have a box of sound episode that is done. It's finished. It's ready to go. Uh, it's just that I'm having trouble uploading it for some reason. YouTube is not cooperating with me. So I'm working on it. As soon as it's live on YouTube, it'll be live in the podcast feed. So that's that. Now, today, September uh, the 13th, 2012, there was another record show. And it was uh, in uh, Fairview Park at the American Legion Hall. I'm going to punch in a picture of the uh, sign in front of the mark in front of the uh, hall the marquee that said hey it's a record show today and then a little 20 second video of the uh, record show inside and then I'm going to show you what I got Okay, so that's what it looked like from the inside. They advertise the thing as being open from 10 o'clock in the morning till uh, 2 or 4 in the afternoon. But I get there at like 10 minutes to 9 and I still have a problem getting a parking space. So it's a very popular record show. There's going to be another one in November. And of course, I'll do another video then. And uh, right now, playing in the background, you hear still in the shrink and those other bag put on top of that Pat Metheny group off ramp and yes it is true it's going to be very hard to find an ECM record that isn't in really good condition when you pick it up because I don't even have to clean this one it's beautiful it's clean pristine no caffeine and all that other good stuff so what kind of records did I get today well um, I spent about say 40 to 50 uh, dollars got about 20 albums Let's start with uh, this one, Rush Power Windows. I used to have this in my collection, but it was water damaged, and uh, I got to replace it. Really nice shape uh, copy. has the original sleeve in it with the lyrics, so very happy to get that. You know, I, I thought that today um, I was going to uh, be really picky and not get, about, not get anything at all because uh, I've been buying a lot of newer records lately, and the stuff that I've been finding uh, in the used bins has just been so, you know, bad. I mean, I used to buy a record like, oh, I want this record, but I look at it, and it's got a couple of scratches on it, and I say, eh, those scratches won't mean anything. I get it home, and the record sounds terrible, like there's a fireplace going on with people eating potato chips in front of it, so I don't want to get it. But today... I found lots of stuff, lots of vinyl that was just untouched. It was beautiful. Let's look at this one. Another Rush, Grace Under Pressure. Actually, I never had this one in my arsenal. It's in really good, um, really good shape. It's got distant, distant early warning on it. Red Sector A, Body Electric. Good album, Rush, Grace Under Pressure. Okay, next I saw this. And yes, I do like Kate Bush. There's a lot of you people that are just fanatical about her. I used to have a copy of uh, her very first album and uh, then lost that in a, a flood. You know, it's just endless. You lose a few records in a flood, you spend the rest of your life replacing them. So, this is what I'm doing. I got uh, this one here, the whole story. In really good shape and uh, it's on EMI America look at that beautiful vinyl so this cop uh, copy now I've had this in my collection for a very long time Chicago too but back when I was a kid I played the thing to death and the whole thing sounds terrible so I found a copy in the original sleeves you know, records give you what you want and all of the uh, other things. It's got uh, other records here. So 
I'm hoping that this is in really good condition. It looks like it's really clean. It looks like whoever had it took care of it. It's got a couple of stains on the front, I know, but uh, aside from that, looks really good. Coming up next, another record that I've been really upset because I lost it in, in uh, water damage. Todd Rundgren, A Wizard, A True Star. It's a die-cut album cover, and it's reversible. So the entire album is kind of like a mirror image unto itself. I love this album. This is the first Todd Rundgren album I ever heard, and uh, it's great. The original uh, had a postcard in it that said that if you sent in the postcard, you would be included on a poster on the next album, which was actually um, the Todd album. And uh, my name was not on there because I didn't send mine in. I just wanted to keep it. But anyway, inner sleeve, awesomely cool, and also die cut as well. So I'm looking, really looking forward to listen to, listen to this, see how clean this is because the vinyl is an awesome, awesome shape. Look at this. Beautiful, eh? So, we're looking forward to this. Todd Rundgren, A Wizard, A True Star, the album that got me started with Todd Rundgren and got me hooked and addicted. Okay, next up. Earlier this week on Pop Market, I think it was for uh, deal number 500, they had the first five Black Sabbath albums, all in 180 gram uh, reissues, but they were all original Ozzy albums. However, this is one of my favorite post-Ozzy uh, Black Sabbath albums, The Mob Rules, Ronnie James Dio, in effect. Glad to get this really clean, 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 clean copy of The Mob Rules, so rocking on that one. Next up, Let's go back to the 80s, shall we, and listen to Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark. This is the album that has um, Electricity, the Messers Messerschmitt Twins, Messages, Julia's Song. It's uh, Virgin U.S., so it's not bad, but as you can see, it's pretty clean. Very, very good album. I've got this on CD. I got this on CD back when CDs first started coming out back in 1983. Very happy to have an original vinyl of it. Not that original, but still very good. Let's go to our next record that I found at the record convention. Roxy Music, Avalon. Speaking of Pop Market, I picked up the uh, Pop Market um, reissue of the first four Roxy Music albums, including uh, just Roxy Music and uh, For Your Pleasure. Yes, once again, records that I used to have in my collection but were lost. And these were other albums. I've never had this album in my collection, but this is uh, the mellow Mo Roxy Music album. Kind of like their comeback album. In really, really good shape. Original sleeve on Warner Brothers EG. Happy to get that. And while we're doing that with Roxy Music, let's talk about Manifesto with all the mannequins on the front. Another great Roxy Music album, which has Dance Away on it. That was only the only big hit, but uh, there's plenty of other songs that are good on here. Paul Carrick's on this album, too. Wonderful. Next, a couple of Tom Petty finds. We got Hard Promises. And we've got Long After Dark. I'm going to pause this for a moment. Tom Petty, Long After Dark. Good album. Pick that up. You Got Lucky. That was a good video. Anyway, other albums I picked up. Another replacement for something that's water damaged. This was the, uh, the Dark Side of the Moon. It doesn't have all the extra stuff inside of it. But still, it's a really good quality press. Got all the original stuff on the inside. Who's next on DECA? I already have this in my collection. This is an upgrade. And yes, it is on the original DECA. I'm hoping that this is clean enough where it'll sound good and that it doesn't sound like a fireplace is going on in the background. 
Here's a record from my childhood. God bless Tiny Tim. Now, if, if, if you're not one of the younger people, and you remember who Tiny Tim was, this was his very first record. Uh, produced by Richard Perry. And uh, it's got a lot of good tunes on it. And this one isn't too roached in the original sleeve. I'm not even going to pull it out all the way. Next, real cool to find this. Hooker in Heat. This is John Lee Hooker with the band Canned Heat. Very nice. As a matter of fact, uh, where's... Oh, man, I never noticed this. Look at all of that mold on the inside. I'm going to have to clean this up. Ew. The records are in really great shape, but this cover has seen better days. I can't even read the liner notes. Holy crap. All right, well, Hooker and Heat. I have to wash my hands after this. Okay, Watt Stacks. This was a movie and a festival. Um... Back in the day, a lot of people thought of this as uh, the the Black Woodstock. But basically, this was a, a festival put together by Stax Records, um, the anniversary of the Watts Riots out in L.A., and it's got a lot of great people on it. It's got Isaac Hayes, Staple Singers, Eddie Floyd, Albert King, Carla Thomas, the Bar Kays, Rufus Thomas, and the Soul Children. And I believe it's also got some spoken word stuff on it, too. Does it? No. Well... After this, um, I want to check out the movie of Watts Dax. Very cool. It's good music on that. Let's see. Also picked up a CTI Kudu Esther Phillips Capricorn Princess. Recorded at the Van Gelder Studios. It's got some good players on it. You got uh, Don Grolnick on keyboards, as well as Barry Miles. Jeff Berlin on bass, Ralph McDonald's on percussion. John Trope on, on guitar. It's got the Breckers on it. Mm, Brecker Brothers, eh. Ronnie Kuber on baritone sax. Anyway, uh, Esther Phillips. It's not her favorite. My favorite album of hers is uh, What a Difference a Day Makes, but haven't heard this one. And last but not least... The Doors, Strange Days. This is a stereo. Let's see. I think it's a stereo copy. Yep. Stereo copy. And it is the original press because it's on the original Electra label. This is, um, I'm probably going to end up buying this on the new 45 RPM version that, that uh, Acoustic Sounds came out with uh, as I bought the first one, which was on um, Acoustic Sounds. Hold on a second. I'll show it to you. It's right here. These uh, reissues of the Doors albums on 45 RPM, 200 gram records. Oh my God, they sound great. Pick these up. They're expensive, but if you if you're into the Doors, you'll you, you'll love it. So, so that's the for Doors first album, which I already had. But uh, Strange Days second album, just picked that up today, and that's what I got at the uh, record show. So, I um, want to give a thank you and a shout out to, um, well, there was a couple people. There, there was uh, Chris who mentioned me in a video, uh, Dixieland Farm, uh, the D.B. Wirtz, uh, Blake, he mentioned me because he got my cheese sandwich CD. And, uh, well, just be well. Love to your family. Love to you guys and the VC and all my friends and family. I had a great time. Hope you did too. And I swear, Box of Sound number 75 will be uploaded soon. As soon as I can get YouTube to comply with me. I'm working on it. YouTube, you bastard! What are you doing to me?